two, three, fuck it. Black Lives Matter when it comes to the NFL. Now, if you guys have been listening to some of the sports radio, they were talking about how just now, um, what's the what's the quarterback's name, L, that plays for the Browns? Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield. He just said something, and it kind of brought to light that he's in favor of Black Lives Matter and the movement. Um, and people were tweeting out that, he needs to step up like that as a leader of the Browns because um, that's what he's supposed to do as the up-and-coming NFL quarterback. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, there's always um, some skepticism about how real his comments are because he hasn't been that way before, you know? Um, well, well, the thing is, I mean, here's the thing, right? He hasn't had to be that way. Right. I mean, I, well, we got to understand. But he's not the only one. So, well, no, no, you're right. You're right. Look, I'm going to be, I'll be honest with you. Listen, this week, today's only Wednesday. And this week, I've gotten two text messages from white friends of mine telling me that they're concerned about how I am mentally and that they, that they are sorry with all the stuff that's going on and to know that they care about. Me. Right. Now, out the blue. I mean, out, out the blue. I haven't had any conversations with them about anything. It's just out the blue. I'm like, okay. But what's happening is white America has never had to really deal with this, right? That's their problem, right? That's their problem. Now it's, it's in the forefront, right? They understand that uh, actually this is our problem, right? This, this, is, this is not just their problem. This is our problem. This is falling on us because their kids are out the street protesting and holding up signs saying Black Lives Matter. Their kids are coming home to them talking about, Dad, what are you talking about? All lives matter. Did you just watch that video of the black man that got killed? Okay, this isn't right, right? They're the ones like, Mom, are you serious? You voted for Trump? What the heck was that about? Have you watched him? So now they're forced to be in these conversations that they never, ever wanted to be in. So Baker Mayfield, I'm not mad at you, okay? The proof is in the pudding. What are you going to do moving forward, right? Listen, I went to the bank today, and on Friday is Juneteenth, and my bank is closing at 1 o'clock in honor of Juneteenth. Now, I've had a bank account for like 40-something years, and I've never known my bank to close early on Juneteenth, okay? But there is pressure for America to start looking at it sins. That's what the country's never had to do. They never had to look at their sins. They, they've always, you know, whitewashed it. And, and now they've got to look at their sins. And, you know, I used to work for a corporation and I talked to somebody the other day. They said that they get Friday off. Fridays, they're treating that they're, 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 they're getting holiday pay like it was the 4th of July. You know, they're getting it for Juneteenth. So, you know, so again, these players are in positions where they now have to speak up. And to me, hey, you can say Black Lives Matter. Let me just see now what you do moving forward, right? You know, what do you do moving forward? That, that's why when we talked about what um, Drew Brees said, that's why that was so telling. Because you said all that even though you saw what was going on, right? Mm -hmm. And he, back, he backtracked and tried to fix it, but that's why it was so telling, right? So now, okay, let's see. Let's see what, you know, these white players do. I mean, like, I'm going to keep it real. I don't care if Baker Mayfield so Black Lives Matter because he's whack as a quarterback. So um, how about knowing the coverages matter? How about knowing a seven-step drop in throwing the post matters? Okay, how about those things?